Hi, I'm Rick with a CQ Moment That Matters. How do you change your world, part two? Last week, we began talking about Nehemiah changing his world. Rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem required scores of his Jewish brethren as volunteer workers as he set them to the task by forming community and family-based work groups and setting them to work on the wall near their homes and their neighborhoods. Soon enough, their enemies threatened them with ambush, attack, and annihilation. So how did Nehemiah deal with this? How does anyone continue to do world-changing work when they're threatened? With passion and faith. He set up watchmen and weapon bearers around the wall, armed the rest of his workers. Some workers held their swords in one hand and did the work of rebuilding with the other. The message to their would-be attackers was clear. The rebuilding work was so important that it could not, it would not be stopped. Sure, attack. What you will get is a fight, a fierce fight. So think clearly and carefully as we will not be deterred from our God-given mission. Now, as you might have expected, there was no attack. Nehemiah's enemies saw a grit and a unity in this Jewish brotherhood that was best left undisturbed. But they didn't quit. They instead went after him personally. Would you expect anything different? After all, he was changing the world. And when you change the world, you will be challenged again and again in all kinds of different ways. Click the link in the description to download and listen to our podcast, How Do You Change Your World, Part 2, and be inspired by the adventure of the task and the principles by which that adventure was accomplished. It's a journey you may never forget. I'm Rick, and thanks again for watching another CQ Moment That Matters. Click below to subscribe and get updates on new videos.